let's look at our last couple of examples of how to solve exponential equations by applying logarithms. We've already gone through how to solve if we have a variable in the exponent. So let's just go through the examples. If I have 2 to the x power equals 5 to the x minus 2 power, now this is completely different. I have variable and variable expressions in both exponents, but that does not change our process. Since we cannot find a common base, what we're going to do is take the log of both sides. So the log of the left side, and I'm going to take the log of the right side. I'm going to take the log of 2 to the x and set equal to the log of 5 to the x minus 2. So to solve this, the exponent comes out and becomes the coefficient of the log. So x times log of 2 is equivalent. Now I have an expression. So when I bring that down, it goes into parentheses x minus 2 times the log of 5. This is completely different than what we're used to from before. What I'm going to do is at this point, I am going to find the value of log of 2 and find the value of log of 5. And I'm going to show you why it is important to do that at this step. So let's get our calculators. I want the log of 2 and I want the log of 5. And so that is what I want to find the value of. So I'm going to take those, bring them over. So really what I have at this point, it's going to make it a little bit easier for us to see, is I have x times 0 0.301. So really I have 0.301x. We found this value in our calculator. So I multiply them to get 0.301x. It's equivalent. I have my x minus 2 times log of 5. And log of 5 is 0.6989. It is 0.699. So that's what I'm going to multiply by. I'm going to put it in front. Now the reason why we do this at this step is it's actually easier to see the process. I see if I want to solve an equation like this, I'm going to have to distribute this to both terms. And so I have 0.301x equals 0.699x 1.3 nine eight so to solve i'm going to get my variables on one side so i'm going to subtract my 0.699 so i have 0 0.301 minus 0 0.699 and that's going to give me negative 0.398 x equals negative 1.398 and so to solve i divide by my coefficient so i have negative 1.398 divided by negative 0.398, which gives me 3.513. And so I, at this point, saw how complicated this looked. x minus 2 times log of 5. I saw the variable on both sides. This one's contained in an object. It would be multiplied by logs. I went right to the calculator and found the value of my logs. And that way I could see, oh, to solve this equation, I'm just going to distribute first and then move my variables on one side, move the numbers to the other, and solve. To do this the other way is really complicated. But you know me, I like exact answers. What you would have to do is I want to show you how tricky it is. So if you want to skip forward, you can skip forward. But at least understand the perfect math, the exact math that exists. You have x times log of 2 equals, what you would have to do is distribute the log of 5 to both terms. So x times the log of 5 minus 2 times the log of 5. Now I'm going to get my variables on one side. So I'm going to have x times log of 2 by subtracting 
x times log of 5. And that's equal to negative 2 log of 5. My x, I can't combine these two logs. They're different. So to take the x out, I'm going to have to factor it out. So I have x times log of 2 minus log of 5 equals negative 2 times the log of 5. And now I would divide both sides by my parentheses. So I get negative 2 log of 5 over my entire parentheses, which is log of 2 minus log of 5. This is the exact answer. And so you see why I converted to my decimals right away is it was a lot simpler and I didn't have to factor out the x's like I had to here. But I want you to see the exact answer and the exact process for the value. Let's move on to the last example. I have 2 to the 2x plus 3 equals 3 to the 3x. Since I do not have a common base, I'm going to have to solve by taking the log of both sides. So log of 2 to the 2x plus 3 equals log of 3 to the 3x. I do that so I can take my expressions in the exponent out of the exponent and make it the coefficients of my logs. So really, I have the quantity 2x plus 3 times log of 2 is equivalent to 3x times log of 3. Now, I'm going to do the same exact thing. I notice I have an expression times a log, my expression times a log. I'm going to go to my calculator right away, clear out what I have, and I'm going to find my log of 2 and my log of 3. So log of 2, log of 3, and I'm going to take those values and I'm going to use them to make this problem a little bit easier to understand. So really, I have my 2x plus 3, that parentheses. It's being multiplied by log of 2, which is 0 0.301. So I'm going to put that out front. 0 0.301 times 2x plus 3. I have 3x times log of 3, which log of 3 is 0.477. And so now I'm going to solve. I'm going to distribute this 0 0.301 to both terms. That's going to be 0 0.602x plus 0 0.903. And I'm going to take the 3 and distribute it to the 0.477. And that's 1.431. So I have 1.431x. So to solve this, I'm going to subtract the 0 0.602. So 1.431 minus 0 0.602 is 0.829. So I have 0 0.903 equals 0.8. 29x. And so now I would divide both sides by 0.829. And that's going to give me my value for x. And so x equals, I'll just go to my calculator, clear out what I have. I have 0 0.903 divided by 0.829. And I get 1.0892, which does not round it up. And so my answer is 1.089. Again, I saw how complicated the problem would be if I kept the logs there. And so I found their values right away and used them to make the problem look easier. So when do we do that concept? We do that concept if we notice we have a variable or variable expression on both sides being multiplied by a log. And that tells me what I need to do is find the values of the logs first and then use those to make it a simple equation of, oh, distribute, move the 
coefficients on one side and solve. So if I have a variable on both sides that are being multiplied by logs, you're going to use the concept shown in this video to make it easier to solve for the exponential equation.